Hey, I'm Alex. My partner is Brandon, and we're in the PLE class, and uh, we're learning about beam deflection. And so we have this. We set it up to be eight feet long from the book to book. And so what we did is we calculated this. This is the moment of inertia, and using this formula and saying like how thick it is and how wide it would be, um, you know, what resists uh, what resists like bending more. And so, for example, if you have the beam up the long ways like this, you have a way greater moment of inertia than if it's just sideways, which basically means it'll bend more if I do that, versus it'll bend way less if I. It doesn't give as much. And then um, using that, we can figure out uh, this equation up here. And that's going to tell us how much our board's going to move based off your weight, the length of the board, which I told you was 8 feet, uh, just a constant 48. I was the numbers from before that we calculated with the moment of inertia. And E is called uh, the moment uh, the modulus of elasticity. And that just depends on the material. So like for the wood, it's 1.7 times 10 to the 6. It's just a number, but basically it just tells you how much give the uh, material is going to give. And so um, I stood on it, we found out our modulus of electricity, and then Brandon stood on it, and then using that we calculated um, how much she weighed. And we were only off by like 6 pounds. And uh, that was pretty much it, except for at the end we uh, just, yeah, we flipped our board sideways. <laughs> and we calculated how far it should deflect down. So, using our math here and the numbers for E we found before, we figured out the board should move down about uh, 14 one hundredths of an inch, and in actuality it's about a quarter. So that's not off by that much, and that's about it.